This is a peaceful moment. Youngsters, this is where this old woman keeps all her things. Quickly now, go fetch that bell. Whoa, that sounds like Granny's voice. So, this is our keeper? What's going on? Oh dear, so many cobwebs. <laughs> it seems I really haven't cleaned it in a long while. <laughs> Sorry to trouble you children. Please help an old lady clean up. Come <laughs> on. 
be nice if we had one of these too. Or at least we wouldn't have to camp outside. You found it. <laughs> Youngsters are so quick on their feet. Oh, now, let me see. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Come on out now, children. In and out in no time. You youngsters really are quick. An adeptus. Oh, I haven't heard anyone say those words in earnest for a long time. As to whether I am one or not, child, surely you already understand. Ah, Hyman kind of knows what you mean, but is also kind of confused. Are you really giving us the bell just like that, Granny? Don't you think it's weird? Something's just happened to Rex Lapis, and then we come running up asking for it? Oh, don't be silly. Liyue Harbor has been through a great deal in its history. In that time, it has seen the departure of countless Adepti. But no matter what, we have always performed the rite of parting first before any other matters. To cry, Catch the murderer at the top of one's lungs, but ignore the right of parting. That, to me, is what is wrong-headed. Now that you have come to borrow the bell, I guess that perhaps an old friend of mine has finally decided to take matters into their own hands. So, why would I be unwilling to lend you the bell? Oh? Well, if it came to that, <laughs> they would find a certain old lady knocking at their door. We haven't met in a while anyway. It would be nice to share a drink and chat. Well, you must have things to do. Since you have the bell, you should return. Oh, and do tell the person who sent you that if they have time, they can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. We will. Thanks, Granny. Indeed, this is the cleansing bell. Hmm. It's in good condition. Let's place the perfume we've prepared inside. An adeptus? Hmm. That's suspicious. But if you don't want to talk about it, we won't pry. Oh, yes! That old granny asked us to tell you something. If you have the time, you can come over for tea. I don't have much to offer, but you can always count on an old lady for a pot of tea. <laughs> that tone does not suit you. Still, her teapot is indeed very good. There are none better for brewing tea. When a suitable time arrives, I'll bring a spot of fine tea and pay her a visit. So what's the next step in our preparations? Hmm, next. We need to purchase kites. Ooh, Paimon loves kites! Are you taking us kite flying? Is this our break time? <laughs> no, no. Kites are children's toys, yes. But they also play various symbolic roles in Liyue's rituals. I will explain it to you. But our next course of action should probably be to purchase the kites first. Oh, sure. Curiouser and curiouser.